try this is Anders from Flame, so next to me I have Bjorn. And then we must talk a little bit about March. When we grew up, these are vinyl types, so not them. I always, since, since we started the band or we joined the band, um, is the artwork was very important to me. I think that is something that fans uh, really enjoy to have a product where you can look and you can sort of create a story based on the artwork and you can just dive in yourself. And, uh, I used to even buy records with that, the right artist type on there, like that goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it was kind of good. I mean, we, we used um, the gesture uh, from the gesture hair, from the gesture race and all. So that was a symbol that I wanted, you know, like, I always seen our Maiden have their Eddie, and I wanted a symbol of our Eddie, like that, that could be a logo uh, without having a name spelled out in flames. Uh, it's something that people can you know, get tattooed and, and know that part you were into it like, as well. And just a symbol that we can use. So we've been using it since uh, since then. So since 96, it's been part of the band. Uh, it's, I wouldn't say as much fun as creating the music, because that's obviously... But almost. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I love it. You know, I've always been part of it. And I, since, since the early days, I've been part of it all. I think it's so uh, intimately connected to this kind of music as well. Yeah, and every single shirt we release, I always see it, so no. And, uh, unless there's a bootleg, which I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so don't blame me, <laughs> but there should be this. But I do really stuff uh, in the right quality. <laughs> Yes, we have, because uh, we released a comic book uh, called Justice Curse uh, a few years back, and we have a couple of more in the making. I uh, can't say you know, when it will be released, but there's a, a, a story we have a script for, for several of them. I think that is super cool to the fans. That's the same guy that uh, Blake Armstrong, that's made, he did the last book. Sirens in Sirens Charms. In Sirens Charms, yeah. Sirens Charms. Yeah, he's yeah, just an amazing artist. And yeah. It's all these it's ideas, good. and together with the lyrics and the lyrics, they discuss all sorts of crazy stuff. And with the latest album, he was already in the, yeah. the, in the house where we wrote the, the album. So you heard like the first demo, so you can really dive into the stories and meaning and sit back and forth and discuss what, whatever I tried to say in the lyrics. And then obviously he takes it, you know, you know, into a whole other you know, level. You know. He's, really, he's an amazing artist. It's really cool to see how that worked because you could yeah. be at, at the house one day, heard a couple of riffs, they were sitting down having a beer, talking a little bit about their music lyrics. And then two days later, we came back and had a whole you know, script, a bunch of different ideas for a cover or maybe just some book in our Yeah, I've been doing, uh, it's me and a friend of mine, his name is Mark Kowalczyk, he lives in Calgary, and he's an artist, uh, he has an art school as well. Uh, we, we, he was a fan of the band, we did it off, and he was awesome, and then he's a great artist, and I have a lot of ideas, but I can't draw for shit, <laughs> you know, but he can help me take whatever I have up here in my little brain, and, uh, and he can you know, do stuff about it. I, I mean, I love art. I, I love watching it. I mean, uh, Bjorn's the one that draw, but I love to experience everything, you know. For me, it was just an opportunity. I want to have something of my own. And Clay man be, I mean, that is me. You know, that guy, been, it's been almost now 20 years since the, the album came out. And I've, a lot of times I felt like that person, like that you mold yourself into certain situations. and and then you have to adapt to, to be able to cope with this world, you know? So I thought that was a perfect name uh, that is associated with me. And, and I mean, it is a limited run, so we don't try to do too many shirts uh, on each, uh, because I think it's more fun if it's, you know that you're one of you that have the print or whatever. Uh, but we will try to expand and then, you know, and, uh, 
and you're selling it online and, and it comes from you know my head so it's very very neat, unique it's not a, a big machine behind us and a big company behind us Mark is a really cool uh, artist too we had him with us on a tour we would live paint during the set and we auctioned out whatever he finished for charity then we had him over in Europe for like a month and a half uh, no, not that. I mean, I think he did like 11. Yeah, yeah. he did 11 of 11, yeah. 11 mains, and then we... Oh, that's right. He wasn't on the whole tour. I think we got like uh, 11,000 euros, which is almost the same in dollars, I guess. And we gave it away to which uh, uh, child abuse uh, charity, which was really cool. And that's definitely a unique piece. You know, we have a new piece every night. And I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to plan, especially if I don't plan, like, don't, don't do it, so. Yes, I mean, we're serious about Christmas. Yeah. You know, it's a uh, family. Yeah, very much family oriented. Cook, cooking a lot, and I mean, unfortunately, this time around we just get home right before Christmas. So we I actually don't even get home. No, no, you go and you go on vacation. Yeah, I am. Uh, but uh, that, yeah, so I usually do a lot of cooking. Uh, and then this time I don't get to prepare anything. I just come home and sit down at a, at a table, which is could be could be nice for us, <laughs> even though I love to partake. Uh, so yeah, but we still have another box to go. So we don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Sweden, but we've been invited to homes here when we've been in America for Thanksgiving. Giving which is it's been awesome. Yeah, it's been um, so a fantastic holiday over here. And uh, we miss a lot of birthdays and stuff like that. Like, like, and yeah, midsummer, which is like the biggest holiday for us. It's always a very on festival. And midsummer since we miss nothing like the movie. Nah, <laughs> just to say that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. They're happy. Small things. No. Yeah, that's the thing. Just seeing that inexpensive, expensive. I, I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a happy forever. Well, ever since I was a kid, it was it was always a, a big family. So it was always tons of kids and grandmas, grandpas, and everybody was there. But it's not really about the gifts. I mean, there will be a mountain of them. But we just with that many. Holidays are always where you get to get the rest. Spend some time. You know, I, guess, I guess for play board games for, for our kids. Home. For our kids, it might be more like uh, give me presents. But yeah. I mean, for I, I, I rather give to be honest, uh, than I don't eat anything. So I like, whatever. We're in flames. Thank you, Rockabilia, for for having us here.